global societies maintain a common moral language, which is that of human rights. Despite this, strong claims made by Perth human rights groups continue to provoke considerable scepticism and debates about the content, nature and justifications of the currently redrafted WA Mental Health Act. The original bill of 2011 proposes to sterilise children of any age. It proposes to give dangerous treatments such as psychosurgery and ECT to children as young as 12. It's no disputing that they've put this in here. Sections 208 for sterilisation and section 209, this is the original bill. Sections 155 specifically uh, specify their provision to give ECT to children between the ages of 12 and 18 and section 70 specifically allows the provision of psychosurgery for children in Western Australia that they classify as mentally ill between the ages of 12 and 18. Now they, they say they're revising this bill because of public concern and they are producing what's called the Green Mental Health Bill of 2012 and they claim that they have taken the provision to sterilise children that they classify as mentally ill out of it but there's no certainty because how do you trust people who are proposing these proposing child abuse to be considered responsible enough to vote gain a fully fledged driver's license and legally consume alcohol in public a person must be 18 years of age but according to this second draft bill children as young as 14 can consent to psychosurgery and electroconvulsive treatment without parental consent Psychosurgery is banned currently in New South Wales and the Northern Territory. It's banned outright. So to even propose to give psychosurgery and ECT to children as young as 12, now perhaps they've changed it to 14, but it's not, it's got good enough. They're still developing physiologically, their brains are developing, their bodies are developing, their emotional development obviously is developing. It's child abuse, it is. It's proposing crimes against children, that's how serious it is. Electroconvulsive therapy, ECT, formerly known as electric shock, is a psychiatric treatment in which seizures are electrically induced in psychiatric patients for therapeutic effect. These electric currents that are passed through the brain intentionally triggering a brief seizure are believed by treating psychiatrists to cause changes in brain chemistry that can reverse symptoms of certain mental illnesses. ECT is often administered when other treatments are deemed unsuccessful. While the Mental Health Law Centre doesn't have a position on whether or not ECT is a good thing or a bad thing, our concern are its appropriate regulation. If you are a psychiatrist and you think that giving a particular treatment to any patient is a good idea, if that treatment might have side effects or long-term consequences, then there should be another decision maker who's independent of the process participating in that decision. And that, that should be a court, the State Administrative Tribunal or the Mental Health Review Board. I have been calling through our party, West Oz Party, as the State Director of the West Oz Party, for a Royal Commission into deaths resulting from psychiatric practice for the past 50 years in Western Australia. Because that was the last time we had the last major commission in 1963. So, my conjecture is based on the research evidence that I have engaged is somewhere between 20,000 and 25,000 people in Western Australia have perished as a result of this practice. And it's got to the point where we need to look at who's responsible and also to look potentially at prosecutions. I, I blame the politicians and I hold them responsible and accountable and I hold the psychiatric profession accountable and responsible and I hold the the Commissioner of the Mental Health Commissioner, Eddie Barknick, is accountable for this draft bill written in black and white. There's no disputing. There should be prosecutions pursued in, in effect. And it's been going on for too long. There needs to be a serious parliamentary Royal Commission. The WA Mental Health Commissioner, Eddie Bartnick, and the WA Minister for Mental Health, Helen Morton, were contacted and both stated they were unavailable for interviews. If we don't stop this bill, more people will die, and particularly children, be taken off their parents without their permission, without their consent. It is a proposal in black and white for crimes against children. 
in particular child abuse. The government's to be congratulated on the improved oversight of ECT of involuntary patients, adults and children. But the emergency provisions in the bill leave a lot to be desired because the provisions for emergency ECT exempt the need for tribunal approval. And if that's going to be the case, then they need to be much more tightly framed in the bill. And that's in our submission on our website if anyone wants to understand it further. All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. It's hoped that those with ultimate decision-making power governing another individual's treatment are endowed with superior reason and conscience. I'm Melissa Gurney for Undercurrent. Thank you.